She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad if You'll find her beauty goes much What's going on guys, back with another video. In today's video, we're actually gonna do a Q&A. Uh, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. This is the reason why I'm doing it. Um, I didn't think that I was gonna reach 2,000 subscribers. This video is kind of overdue. Um, I have, I think, 2,200 at the moment. But I have a bunch of videos right now, like a lot of videos that I made already that haven't been edited, haven't been um, teased or anything. It's actually a bunch of cool things that I have coming. So I have a lot of interior videos coming. For example, I have seat covers. I have new underglow lights for the inside of the car. I also have a headliner light install. It's like the Rolls Royce type thing. It's already made. I just don't have any time to edit at the moment. Honestly, I've, my life's been super busy, but let's get right into the Q&A. First question comes from Adrian G. Morales. It's actually not a question, but I appreciate you for doing this, man. He says, appreciate your videos, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you all you guys for watching my videos. You guys are amazing. Nightwing Rolla asks, calipers, make a video, please, about calipers, covers, wrap, paint, because I want to do it. Okay, so I actually do have plans with my calipers. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, um, I'll show you guys right now is the type of brakes that I'm trying to put on there. I'm actually having an engineer do it. Um, but it's taking to take some time. These are the type of calipers I'm trying to put on. Let's see if we can make that happen. Deadly Silver Roller asks, what are your next wheels? So that's actually a secret right now. I cannot tell anybody, but just know my wheels are bought. Or the wheels I have right now are my XSC wheels, as you can see right now on the screen. I'm just gonna rock those for a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for the new wheels. Just know that my new wheels are coming in. I ordered them a while back. It's gonna take a while to come here. I think they're gonna come around June. July, August, I have no clue, but somewhere around those months. J-E-F-F Schulte ask, is race car? Hmm, I don't know, is it a race car? You guys tell me. This ain't no Supra, it's a Toyota Corolla! Yeah! Yeah! Sky High 1714 ask, size and offset on your wheels. So my wheels, I'm assuming he's talking about my Cosmos. So they're actually 18 by eight and a half. And they're, the offset is plus 35. I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip right now. Um, I just got them generically. I just ordered what I saw on Fitment Industries. So just some underscore E210 asks, are you thinking about getting the AMT tune or any tunes that come out? I actually got this question a lot. <laughs> Honestly, I'm probably not gonna get the tune um, I'm actually going to tune somebody else's E210, so I am going to have a video of tuning the car. So hopefully I can get that soon. Uh, I think I'm going to do it probably next month or something around there. Uh, it is Friday, May 21st, so maybe um, June. Probably going to have a video, guys, a video out for you guys. So stay tuned for the AMT tune. I will be releasing a video on that. On how to do it, on the reviews, and everything like that. Two-tone underscore Rolla24 asks, I would ask you a lot of questions, but I feel like I ask you a lot already. So guys, if you're like Two-tone Rolla, don't be afraid of asking questions. I don't mind. I will try to answer to the best of my ability, as you guys can see on Instagram. On your comments down below, I try my hardest to answer you guys. So ask as many as you can. I'll try to answer to the best of my knowledge and as quick as I can. Sometimes I kind of lag, but um, I'm really busy, so bear with me. But I will try to answer all of you guys' questions. Just Diaz underscore ask, first mod to the car, follow up. Honestly, I don't know my first mod to the car. Uh, I think my first mod to the car was probably a, a lip and my diffuser. Um, nothing too much I could think of right now. But I think my first mod was my lip and the follow up to my lip was my lowering springs and wheels. On to the next one, Premium Christian. Name three cool people you've met through the roller community so far. So I'm gonna do an honorable mention. You, of course, man, Premium Christian, thank you for 
uh, shooting out this question. I, I really appreciate you for reaching out to me actually when you were in premium auto styling, if you guys don't know. Um, premium Christian who's actually the graphic designer for premium auto styling and he reached out to me asking if we needed any more um, Overlays for our cars and any, any types of tints or anything so huge shout out to you, man You're probably one of the coolest person I did meet uh, the way you reached out to me, man You're so humble. You're so cool. Uh, keep on going. Whatever you're doing, man. I see you're doing great um, I'm gonna put his Instagram down in the description. So he is an honorable mention But the other three cool people I did meet in the Corolla community so far is Trizzy E210 uh, AKA Tristan He's actually a really cool dude. I got close to him because of the Rolla community, you know. He's actually the owner of SoCal.E210s on Instagram. So you guys go check him out. Uh, super cool uh, SoCal page, you know. We're probably the biggest SoCal page out there. Uh, the biggest E210 group. So if you guys want to come out to meets, we host meets every month. So we alter from Saturday to Sunday. Um, he also has a Twitch channel. So if you guys like some PC games, he streams a lot. And he's actually a really cool, really interesting streamer. So if you guys would like that too, please give him a follow. Number two is Yesterday, AKA Kenny. He's also my photographer. He basically takes all my photos for Instagram. Um, I don't really like to take photos, I'm pretty bad at them, but Kenny, he's super cool. He's a super underrated photographer. His skills are really, really good. He just got a new camera, so he's gonna be even better now. So if you guys do want to photo shoot with him, please hit him up. I'm gonna leave his uh, Instagram down in the description. He has really cheap rates and really good work. Super underrated, man. And number three is actually X Cinderella, AKA Paulo. He's a super cool dude. I actually met him at this Keynod meet. It's just straight Miatas, but he came out and I met him. He's a super cool dude. Give him a follow. Uh, he actually has a two-tone Rolla as well. He has the new color. It's like a dark dark gray it's pretty cool um, shout out to you paulo you're super cool and one last honorable mention i like to make is at caruzu.co aka jackie that dude is super cool he's actually the guy who made all the wooden um, charms that we have our little wooden hangers the keychains the shift bands interrupt this program for an important news announcement all right guys quick announcement before we go back to the video Karuzu is actually dropping the shift bands uh, this Friday at 5 p.m. That's June 4th, 2021. I just want to let you guys know we will also be restocking the hangers. Thank you guys for selling us out last time. I hope we can do the same thing again, but this time with the shift band and the hangers combined. If you guys do like them, I will leave a link down in the description. Huge shout out to Karuzu. Let's get back to the video. Super cool dude. Um, I actually was super blessed to meet that guy and thanks to you guys I was able to meet him. If you guys like the products, please check the link down in the description below. Super cool. Premium Christian asked another question. What is the three top mods you would suggest for other Rolla owners to do first? So honestly, your three top mods you want to do is lowering, wheels, and exhaust. Honestly, that will make your car look different. Um, there's a bunch of people that already did that and makes their car change like that. So that's honestly my top three mods that I would recommend. Israeli Junior underscore asked, what do you think about the E210 body kit from Angry Acorn? I'm gonna have it right there. Um, it's actually super cool. I actually love it, man, but I just can't see myself cutting my own fenders and permanently like just putting that on the car. It's my daily. Uh, I would love to. It looks amazing if it was my project car, but honestly, it's my daily. I drive it to work every day. I drive 30 plus minutes every day, so super cool. I like the way it looks. What do you guys think? Put your guys' comments down below, but I don't think I'm going to get it, but it's super cool. Underscore, 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 JRV, underscore, 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 uh, ask, how do you get the sponsors? So honestly, um, sometimes you got to reach out to people and show them what you got and what you can do for them. And when you're looking for sponsors, don't look for free things. Look for more of them as collaborations because a lot of people look for sponsors and just want free stuff. And honestly, it's not like that. A sponsorship is you want to put their company out there and you want to put yourself out there. So look at it more as a collaboration and you want to do it genuinely, you know. Uh, that's my advice of how you can get sponsors. Underscore Ivy dot Yoda underscore asks, where do you see yourself in five years? And congratulations on the new milestone. 
Honestly, I see myself doing YouTube still. I really hope that my YouTube pops off. I do this more as a hobby than a job than anything, so I really enjoy doing YouTube. I actually am enjoying myself a lot recording this video and just talking to you guys, asking, answering your guys' questions. So I see myself doing YouTube, maybe have the new GR, I don't know, who knows. Uh, and congratulations on the new milestone. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for the support. So J.Marie01 asks, what will be your next mods? Your hatchback is my inspiration. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I try to be inspiration to everybody and I try to help everybody else. So if you guys have questions, like I said before, ask away. So my next mods, um, so I have my wheels coming in. That's one of my next mods. I'm thinking about getting the mid wing. Um, also a big brake kit. I'm looking into a big brake kit, trying to get a bracket for that so we can have a big brake kit on our car. I'm trying to do it so everybody can do it, not just me. Honestly, that's all the mods I have. It's just my wheels, the mid wing, and the big brake kit. Honestly, that's probably the biggest things that I can get think of right now. Um, other than that, I just gotta wait. Anton underscore cask asks, think we'll get more performance options available for the hatch, like turbo kits or motor mounts, etc., etc., etc. So we are getting a tune. I guess you can count that as performance. Um, I don't know if the tune gives a lot of a uh, horsepower gain, but for like turbos, for like turbo kits, um, we might get one when the GR comes out. Maybe it'll be compatible with our car, but honestly, I, I don't see ourselves getting turbos. Uh, remember, this is a grocery getter, so it's going to be hard for us to get turbo kits. And for motor mounts, uh, it's going to be up to aftermarket companies if they're going to give us different motor mounts. We have a bunch of chassis braces, you know, out there already. So you guys can look into that. But I honestly don't think we're gonna get more performance options for the hatch. So for some reason, this clip did get corrupted and I could not recover it. So I'm just gonna do a quick voiceover. But Riley Pendleton does ask, do you think it is worth it to wait for the new GR Corolla that might come out next fall? I really want to upgrade from my 2009 Corolla S sedan to one of the new hatchbacks. So I actually do think it's worth it. I think it might come out 2022. Um, I think it is super worth it, especially from the 2009 Corolla sedan. Uh, you'll love the Corolla. If it's just like this one, it's going to be amazing. Um, I might get the GR Corolla. If it does come in bronze, I will cop. I will try my best to cop it. But do wait for that GR, man. It's going to be amazing. Shaggy underscore E210 asks, why the CVT and not the six manual transmission? So honestly, I get this question so much and I get so much hate on my remark video. Oh, oh why do you have this automatic? It's an automatic. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, is this your car? Dude, this thing's sick. Look at this carbon hood, the wheels, wide body. Bro, is your car automatic? Oh, hell no, nah, dude. Honestly, we got to get out of here, bro. Sick automatic. Hell no, let's do let's get out of here. Dude. You know all this. I ignore all that, you know, it is what it is. So, so I actually didn't want to get the six speed, but they didn't have it. You know, the six speeds are super rare, especially in bronze. Bronze is actually a rare color. So they couldn't get it for me. I, I asked for a six speed and they said I didn't have one in that specific color. And I also have the XSC, so it makes it you know, a little bit more rare. Bottom line is that they couldn't get it for me and I needed the car ASAP. I actually bought my car on December 31st, 2019. So it was like a last minute thing, but I did need a car ASAP. So that's why I went with the CPT. Yolo.im asks, I want to feature my Kusinstruck. So your Kusinstruck is right here. Um, I hope your Kusinstruck is fixed by the insurance because it looks pretty bad. I hope everything went well with your Kusinstruck. So the next question is asked by Camera H. Camera, I don't know, but he says to the moon. Why did I just get a notification that our vacation's canceled? Babe, I needed the money. There's something very important happening right now. You needed three thousand dollars right now. You wanted to go to Cancun. I want to go to the moon. The <gasps> fuck are you talking about, Ish? Babe, I took all of our money out and I put it into the stock market. We're invested in AMC, babe. We're going to the fucking <gasps> moon. Yeah, we're going to the moon. Deli Moe asked, next wheels? Well, you already answered that, so oops. Two Tone underscore Rolla24 asks again, what is it like to be famous? Just curious. Man, I, I wish it, I would know how it feels to be famous because I think it'd be cool to feel famous, but I don't know how it feels to be famous. Maybe ask Bayhatch. 941.media asks, what made you choose the Rolla? Honestly, 
I saw that it was a gas saver. I liked the hatchback. I liked the aggressiveness. I didn't think I was gonna mod the car. I had no clue about modding the car. Um, when I bought the car, I've never modded a car before. This is the first car I've ever even modded, you know. Um, I didn't have any clue about aftermarket parts or nothing like that. Um, actually, Noyola.im is the one that actually uh, helped me, you know, find all these parts and install them. So I honestly didn't know about aftermarket stuff, but I did choose the roller because it was a gas saver and I liked the way it looked. Kyle underscore William underscore Graf asks, what's your favorite small mod? So my favorite small mod of my interior is my Karuzu hanger. We're actually gonna have a shift band soon. I just love that mod because it just makes the car feel more luxurious, just the beads. I don't know, it has a very uh, fancy feel to it. And I feel like it adds the cherry on top of my interior. And for my exterior, my favorite small mod, it's actually my front bumper overlays. Uh, it's a black overlay and it actually makes a huge difference uh, before and after. It's very small, but it makes a big impact on the car's look. Dadzilla714 asks, where do you get the lights for the rear view mirrors? I'm assuming he's asking, can't find them online. I'm assuming he's talking about the side view mirrors. I actually have a video on that, guys. Uh, it's I got it off that website. It's like an auction. So sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you just got to scroll down and look for it. Um, it's just if they have them or not, get lucky. And to finish it off, E210 Super underscore Nova asks, what is your dream car? Honestly, I have no clue what my dream car is. So far, I love the car I have right now. But if I were to choose, honestly, it would probably be a GSF. Uh, I'll probably bag the thing, probably put some side skirts, spoiler, all that good stuff, wheels. That's probably my dream car. Um, I honestly do not have that much of a wide variety of knowledge on cars. Uh, but I do love the GSF. That's probably my dream car. So that wraps up the video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys 100% for watching the video, sticking around. For all you 2,000 subscribers and more now, I appreciate you guys for subbing, liking, commenting on the videos. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something different. But I said, hey, might as well um, do a quick Q&A and, you know, give some insight of what I'm going through right now. Um, so I do have a bunch of videos I have. So I have the tune video coming out. I have the seat cover videos coming out. I have a new floor mat videos coming out. I have a new underglow for the inside of the car coming out. I have the headliner, a starry headliner coming out. So I have a bunch of videos coming out for you guys. So please stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys next time.